is it true that you had to post your own highlights to Twitter to get noticed by colleges? Is that a fact? Uh, yes, that is a fact. What 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 led you to do that? Um, so a, a random guy out of Texas named uh, Coach G. Smith, um, he hit me up and he like he stumbled upon my highlights or whatever, and he was like, I don't understand why you're not getting recruited, um, but you should make a Twitter and post your highlights. He was like, I'm going to help you get recruited. And then, like, two or three days later, I was getting calls from, like, 10 different teams or media outlets and stuff. So it was crazy. So that's uh, uh, under your current handle of I am underscore Josh Jacobs that was created essentially to yes. get your your film out there to be seen? Yes. Yeah, that's exactly what it was made for. Why were you not recruited, do you think? I honestly do not know. I mean, I passed the qualifications um uh, for like ACT and stuff like that. In my sophomore year of high school, um, I led to stay in Russia my senior year and um, never been in trouble or anything like that. So I, I honestly do not know. Were teams trying to t convert you into a defender or anything like that, just say that you couldn't play the position um, you wanted? No. The only t the only school that tried to do that was TCU. TCU wanted me to play corner. But, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't feeling that defensive move. <laughs> well, no. So what were they telling you, TCU? What did they tell you? He t he told me um, basically it was it was a crazy story because I ended up getting into it with the dude because he was like um, we want to offer you to play corner and I told him like I don't really feel comfortable playing defense uh, so I don't think I'm gonna take this offer and he was just like uh, it's okay it's a it's a thousand guys like you and I go get them so I was like all right cool go get them no kidding and was this yeah, a, was this a coach who told you that. Yeah, it was a, it was a def defensive back coach at the time, or or recruiting. I was one of them, but uh, yeah, I remember it like it was yesterday. He was the only one I had problems with out of everybody. So yeah. it was crazy. Well, obviously, didn't have a problem with Nick Saban. When did he first knock on your door, Josh? <laughs> when did you hear from uh, from him? And he came like two and a half, three weeks before signing day, um, and I actually he actually didn't come to. Uh, to my school to visit me or anything like he didn't sit in my house or nothing like that. I, uh, coach Burns, the running back coach at the time, uh, came in and talked to me, watched me play uh, basketball. And then you just decided, okay, when they offered you, you're going to go play for Nick Saban in Alabama. Is that what? Uh, yeah, it was. It was more of proving a, um, a point that I belong. Like I always been underrated, and the underdog. So. It was just proving to myself that I could play on the biggest stage uh, with the best people. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.